Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Karashi and today we're going to be playing some solo queue Pokemon Unite on my Masters alt account. Going to be playing some Gardevoir jungle. Now, I wanted to make a Gardevoir video because this particular Pokemon is so interesting to me. Now, I'm probably going to be talking about this character in the future, but I wanted to do a live gameplay talking about it as well because I think that this character is like one of my favorites and they're so incredibly fun to play, but the character just struggles so hard because of the like scaling and the, the curve to strength. I really don't know what to call it. This, this whole like triple evolution, like you get stuck if you fall behind, the character can't lane well, and it, it's just a mess, right? Like, and I, I think a lot about why this character underperforms and, and what they can do. And I mean, hell, like the, even the reason I'm playing it in jungle right now is just to get it some kind of a power spike. And I just think it's such a disservice to how great this character really is in the end game and why I love it so much to have it be in this position. Um, now, I'm not really here to offer solutions. I mean, I do I do personally think that I don't like the whole triple evolutions. Like, there's a couple things I don't like about it. Like, one, having characters that don't rank, like, <laughs> like hit power spikes until 10 for ultimate or don't grab their ultimate at 10. I think that's kind of an issue, and I would rather like to see it, like, be standardized to 9 for, like, almost every single Pokemon, but that's a big change. Um, but also, some Something as simple as like having characters get stuck at their pre-evolutions just because um just because like you know what i mean like i i don't know it's it's a it's a little odd to me um that some characters can and, and you know roll over to their next evolution and others can't I, I think that 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 sucks a little bit um to be that way all right i have a absol jungle so while i am farming and playing the game i do need to think about the fact that there is an absol jungle and um yeah that's i mean that's already hard for them to deal with and it's going to be hard for me to deal with especially if they invade my jungle or anything like that so because that is going to be incredibly hard to deal with i already saw this one coming for whatever reason i, I had a feeling that this was going to happen which is super frustrating because you know i definitely need my own farm but it, it is what it is all right, we got our side shock, and homie's just—he's just done. You know what I mean? This is the this is the true master's experience right here. People just getting fed up with their uh, their lane after getting stomped. But yeah, I don't know. It just sucks to it sucks to feel you know so behind and useless. On oh God, all my farms getting stolen. All right, I guess I'm a laner now. I don't I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, it sucks to feel like useless and behind, um, and and just like feels like the character can't perform well, even though the character has like one of the strongest end games in the game. And I, I really love and appreciate how strong the character could be if, you know, they just had, like, a better early game. I mean, you see someone like Sylveon who evolves at, you know, such a fast pace and, like, power spikes at such a fast pace. And it really makes you wonder, like, what the design choice there is. And, and I would love to see some changes because I, I do think that this character is a phenomenal character. The damage potential is so incredibly high. But when you have a character that struggles so hard, it's kind of hard to imagine actually playing them in that way. Um, because it's just so incredibly hard to to kind of keep them relevant. Now that said, um, I think Stomped is getting pretty st or Stomped Top is getting pretty Stomped, and we haven't had a great game. We have uh, you know three people taking jungle now, and at this point, I'm just gonna coin flip this because uh, I don't think that we're gonna get any kind of substantial help here. I think the best thing that we could probably do is just try to get some damage on this and try to take this if we can. But here we are, alas, here we are, and I'm going to get killed very quickly, and they're going to take Dreadnought for free, which is unfortunate, unless I can maybe get there. Nope. That's unfortunate. So this is going to be a long game. That's what we're looking at here, because uh, we just have, like, teammates that have never left top lane. Uh, we have teammates that have, you know, abandoned their lane because they got beat early on. And then you have me who's just desperately trying to farm, right? Can't even get my blue buff. <laughs> Can't even get my blue buff, you know? And I'm just dead in jungle, so... It was a pretty unfortunate game, but this really... This truly is the solo queue experience here with the current state of terrible matchmaking and, and uh, you know, teammates that don't understand the game. Um, you know, on a fundamental level, so it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I, I can't even defend this even if I wanted to, so I'm not even going to try because I really just need to be farming the best I can, and and at least hoping that there's some kind of value in the in the top lane that can be scored. But I, I don't I don't really see the point of being there. So maybe I can get some of these bees and we can try to make something happen this game. 
I do really love this character. I, I tend to feel like it's one of my higher performing characters when I play the game, but you know, I don't really play it often because it's just not a meta pick and it you know, you, you fall into a position where it's incredibly hard to to want to play a character that doesn't feel like they can have a strong impact. I mean I'm only gonna get probably maybe two ults to this game if I'm lucky. And, um, you know, that automatically is, is just such a downfall of the character, especially when you have Sylveon, who is obviously way better than Gardevoir and gets their ult at, at eight. I, I just think that, like, the current state of Gardevoir is, 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 like, pretty laughable when you look at it under, uh, you know, under that lens there. So, that said, we do have this Greninja's behind them. I don't know how we're supposed to do anything for that, so that sucks. Uh, but who knows, maybe we can... Catch them in some damage. That's some big damage there. You see what I mean about having impact? I mean, it's just, it's definitely capable of happening. And, and you know, I myself, like, it swings such a big position in this game. And, you know, if we had some additional help, like, this would be, like, guaranteed that we'd be doing well. Um, and we're, we could probably get this Dreadnought if we burst it, like, now. Um, but it is tough. Like, let's try to get this. I mean, that's huge. Like, look, look how much of a swing potential we just brought to the table, uh, you know, just by landing, like, one really big ultimate now we're grouping we're doing what we need to do i can sit back and poke at range i mean i can really do a lot here for me and my team uh we are still struggling though quite a bit if we can keep kiting this huge very good job i mean i mean literally an incredible job there and that's really what you want to be doing um you know in this kind of a team game is <laughs> like working together now i can just farm i'll get my second ultimate of the game which like i said probably will only have two ults this game um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, for sure. I mean, I'm getting incredibly strong now. I'd like to go top. I want to farm my way to top if possible. That's going to be... Yeah, that's a tough... That's a tough position to be in. Like I said, I do, I do just want to farm my way there if I could. Don't think he's going to be able to get it fast enough. Get in there. Get in there. Steal that. Let's go. That's huge. It's actually pretty huge. Just for the sake of lane pressure... Um, I'm gonna try to help bottom. Oh goodness, this is dangerous. I mean, they got all their turn in anyways, but maybe we can get some kills here. I mean, she can't get away from that, that's huge. I think that's solid. We're still behind, but look, look at the experience gain there. That's, that's really good for us. Really good for us. I'm gonna go farm. Oh wait, good farm here. We'll get some farm here. There's going to be one more um, red gnaw that I could use my ult on, or I could hold it and, like, ult bait a little bit. So we'll see how that looks. Okay, I got blue buff, too, on top of that, which is great. Ten-second timer in the bottom lane. <laughs> Venusaur, what are you doing, buddy? Venusaur, get your ass down here, bud. We're down two people. That's unfortunate. Really unfortunate. They're smart, they'll zone me out for sure. I get that steal though. It's pretty huge. I mean, I can't beat the Sylveon, that's for sure, and I'm on a huge timer, but I mean, I didn't really get much peel there. That was about the best I could do. Venusaur's still, still farming, Venusaur. You're still farming. I don't quite understand your rationale there, but um, it is what it is. The solo queue experience do be a different beast. If they can get this kill, that's huge in and of itself. Um, and now we need to go Zapdos. Like, we, we have to go Zapdos here, right? Come on, team. Come, come on, come on, come on. Go to go to Zapdos. I have my ultimate. I wanted to save it for this moment. I was sad that I died in that last situation, but I mean, what choice did I have? We have to start this, guys. Like we we have no choice but to start this. Like we we need to do this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we can fight them, but we we really do want to be we, we want to be starting this this best we can. I mean, couple of them, couple more of them off the field. Like we take this, and and that's a wrap. Like what can they do? What can they even do? Now, I need to get me out of this situation, which is not going to happen, unfortunately. Uh, but if we can get at least a few scores in, that's going to be huge for us. Come on, you can got to make it there. Huge, huge. Having that ultimate is going to be really good. We're in the lead. We're going to get those scores in, and this is how you close out a game here. It's all about the teamwork and working together. 
knowing when you need to take objectives and when not to. And ultimately, I, I just love Gardevoir. Like, I, I, I hope to see some changes to the early game for Gardevoir. I, I hope to see some changes to how, like, these kind of scaling Pokemon work in general. I, I personally love this character. It's one of my favorite characters of the entire game, but the character is just undeniably incredibly strong in the end game while being s almost not worth taking and that that's such a sad reality to me because gosh would i love to play this character more and more i, I truly do believe that this is one of my strongest characters when i play this in the game and I, I never i will say this much i never fail to have a good time on this character i i genuinely feel like i make big plays i, I have awesome positioning with psy shock and psychic or moonblast i just love it so much um and that's just kind of like where, where i'm at with it so making sure i can hit both of them a little bit don't think that 24 should be enough to matter we got a few hundred score in and there you have it so friends drop a comment on the video leave me a like and subscribe if you're new if you want to watch some more pokemon unite content we do post videos every single day stream like six seven times a week and uh yeah have a great time with it so thank you so much for checking out the video as always be sure to be kind to one another tell someone that you love them and i'll see you on the next video